Do you use Google Analytics to track the success of your nonprofit's communications? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom Google Analytics dashboard so that you can track the exact information you need so that you can make better decisions, leverage your successes, and ultimately have more effective communication program for your nonprofit organization. My name is Vanessa Chase Lakshin, and I'm the president of the Storytelling Nonprofit, a training and consulting company that helps nonprofit organizations tell stories that raise money and awareness. One of the tools I love for measuring the effectiveness of communications, be it stories, public relations, social media, anything like that, is Google Analytics. Let's jump on over to inside my Google Analytics account, and I'm going to show you how to set up a custom dashboard so you can find the exact information you need within a few clicks every time you log into your account. All right, so we're here inside my Google Analytics account, and I thought I would just show you how to set up your custom dashboard. So you'll log into Google Analytics with your account information, and then what you're going to want to do is go over here to Customization on the left-hand side of the screen and click Dashboards. So once you're there, what you're going to do is click Create, and this is where it's going to take us to set up our custom dashboard. So there's lots of things you can do within a dashboard, but what I would recommend doing for today is we're actually gonna set up a blank canvas, but there are some starter ones which you can play around with, which will show you um, kind of some pre-created widgets and things to track your data. Um, so what you wanna do though is we'll just go ahead and select blank canvas and then you wanna name your dashboard. So I'm just gonna say metrics, I'll say comms metrics at a glance. All right, and you can of course name yours whatever you'd like, but whenever you're done, when you're done with that, go ahead and click create. So what happens once you create your dashboard is that it will prompt you to create widgets, which will show you the different metrics you want to see at a glance inside your dashboard. Now, before you dive into creating the different widgets, what I'd encourage you to do is actually think about what metrics are you monitoring and what ones really matter to you in your communication program. You may just want to pause and take a minute or two to you know, even just write out a list of ones that are important. It might be things like, uh, you know, traffic sources to your website, um, number of page views for your donation page, uh, number of opt-ins to your email account, things like that. Whatever it is, think about what metrics matter to you, and then we'll build your dashboard around that. Now, of course, I don't know exactly what's going to be on your dashboard, so I'm just going to show you how to set up a couple of common widgets using different recipes, and of course, you can play around with this, and um, you need some of the pre-created ones as well. So for the first one, let's go ahead and set up a widget to show us total visits. Um, I'm going to say total website visits. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just go ahead and select a metric and that's all we're going to do and we're going to just go ahead and search sessions <clears throat> and it should just be right down here and then we're going to go ahead and click save and there we go and so you'll see it populate here on your dashboard and of course you can change the view based on the date range so let's say you wanted to see a whole month you could do that go ahead and apply and you'll see it all update here on our dashboard, which is great. But of course, you probably want more than just this one widget, so we're gonna go ahead and add another one as well. <laughs> so another common one besides total website visits might be uh, the number of unique visits to our website. So maybe we'll say unique website visitors. Okay. Oops. All right, so then for metrics, what we're gonna do is go down here and search, and you can go ahead and search users in here. And we're gonna go ahead and say users total. And then click save, and it'll show up here on our dashboard momentarily. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and set up another one, and rather than just doing a counter, let's go ahead and set up a table, and I can show you how to do that. All right, so for this one, go ahead and select table from over here. And then for this widget title, so for this widget, we'll go ahead and say we're gonna do traffic sources. So this can show us uh, all the different places that refer traffic to our website. And of course you wanna select table, which is great. And then over here for dimension, what you'll wanna do is search for source. And then <clears throat> under metric, you want to go ahead and search for sessions. And there we go. <clears throat> and then click save. 
All right, so you can see this populated here on our, our main page, which is great. So it shows us a quick overview of traffic sources. And let's just for the heck of it, show you how to add in a pie chart as well. So you can see what that looks like. And so maybe for our pie chart, let's say this is going to be traffic from social. So we can see traffic uh, referrals from different social media channels. So select pie chart. <clears throat> and for metric, we're gonna go ahead and search for sessions. Again, you might have to scroll down there. And then for dimension, we're gonna go ahead and say social network and you can see it just populates there. Now for my pie charts, I like to use a donut style chart. You may wanna use something different, but I'm gonna go ahead and click that for mine and then we click save and in theory, it will show up here on our dashboard, which is great. So you can see it right here, which is wonderful. So those are just a couple of examples of widgets that you can set up here in your metrics at a glance. Um, I would really recommend doing this just because it's an easier way to get a lot of value from your Google Analytics account. And it makes it so much easier each week when you check your metrics to just go right to your dashboard. You don't have to click around looking for everything. All you'll need to do is change the dates and you'll be able to see up to date analytics for your website. So that's my tech tutorial for you this week. I hope it helps you set up your Google Analytics account so that you can really leverage the power of all of the data and insights that Google Analytics gives you within a few clicks of a mouse. It's pretty amazing. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you're interested in getting more weekly tutorials for fundraising and communications, hit that subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of this video. Thanks so much for tuning in.